What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a hidden secret of the Fredo spline tool that's going to make drawing your segments way easier. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off, Fredo Spline is a tool that you can download from the Sketchication plugin store. Um, it's called Fredo Spline. It is a paid extension. It is one of the most valuable extensions you can get for drawing curves in SketchUp. So to me, it's totally worth it. Um, but that license is going to be $30 and it's a one-time lifetime license. Um, so anyway, you can download that and you can install it. Make sure that you install um, LibFredo as well when you're doing this. So there's a link to LibFredo on this page, um, but I'll link to this in the notes down below. But basically what makes this tool so valuable is it gives you the ability to actually create like really good curves in SketchUp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a point here. One of the cool things about this is you can lock these to a plane, but I can click in here, I can move my mouse and I can draw a curve. Right? So in the case of something like this, this highway right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw points all the way along this curve right here so that I can see where the highway is going. So you'll draw the one curve, and then you'll draw the second curve. Okay, and this by itself is really powerful, right? Because this tool is, um, th this tool draws better curves than the arc tool in SketchUp. Okay, and so my next step on something like this, because I need to be able to move it up and down though, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and first off, I'm gonna split this so that this edge is kind of at the same length over here. So I'm gonna split this edge off and then I'm gonna split this edge off so that these are both stopping at the same point, right? And so in this case, I'm probably gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this curve out of this group. I'm gonna do an edit, paste in place, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one where I'm just gonna right click on it and I'm just gonna explode it. So now I've got two curves in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tool like Curve Aloft in order to create a surface along this edge. But we have a problem and the problem is this edge is 36 segments this edge is 57 segments. So if I select the two of these right here and I try to draw a surface, so I'm gonna to toggle my map off so that you can see this. I'm gonna use the extension Curve Aloft in order to draw a surface in here. Notice how this geometry is really messy, right? It's got like weird triangles in here and it just isn't going to create a very good result. Well, what you can do is you can use the extension Fredo Spline and you can actually right click on a curve and you can change the kind of curve that it is. So Fredo Spline here, for example, what I can do is I can convert this edge sequence to a different collection of edges. So in this case, I want this to be a polyline segmenter. And so when you set this to be a polyline segmenter, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take this edge and it's gonna split it up into a certain number of segments. So in this case, for what I'm creating in here, I want more detailed geometry. I'm gonna say that this is gonna have 128 segments right here. So notice what it does is it takes this edge and it splits it up into 128 equal segments in here like this. Well now if I do the same thing over here to this one, so right click and I do a convert edge sequence to sequence or segmenter and I do 128 segments, hit the enter key these both now have the same number of segments in them. Well, that means when I run Curve Aloft to create a surface, this has the same topology in here and everything is gonna come across nice and smooth. So look how smooth that geometry is in here versus the geometry I created before. Okay, so now I've got this nice geometry in here where I can use something like vertex tools, maybe go into a top-down mode um, in order to select this, but basically, I'm gonna set my soft selection radius to something like 300 feet or something like that. And I'm just gonna set this up where it's the proper height. So if I'm gonna have a little bit of ups and downs in here, I might drag it up like this in order to have a little bit better geometry in here like this. And there's a few different ways that you can do this, but notice how I've got that nice geometry in here that I can edit really quickly. So using the polyline segmenter function allows you to even up those curves 
really quickly. And so really anytime you're creating surfaces like this where you have two, um, two lines, this can be helpful. So say I was to take this curve right here and I'm gonna go ahead and push pull or uh, offset this curve out a little bit. But say that I was to, um, say that I was to use the extension curve shear in order to shear this up. We'll say we sheared up a fair amount, right? And we want this to shear the other direction. So we'll reverse our curve direction. So curve shear is something you can find inside of the Fredo tools extension. But say that I was to shear this curve up like this, then we're gonna shear this other curve up as well. So we'll do the same thing. That one needs to reverse the curve direction. So curve shear, whoops. We'll go ahead and re reverse the orientation on this one. But what that's done, right, is that's created this kind of like, uh, this kind of like ribbon shape or like ramp shape, if that's what you wanted to call it, right here. And so what we could do is we could select both of these curves and notice how they have the same number of edges in them right now, but we could go ahead and we could generate um, this kind of ribbon shape between them. Well, one of the cool things about this is say that you wanted additional detail, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll use this one right here and we'll create geometry like this. Well, now if I was to take this same one and say I wanted more detail, what I could do is I could use Fredo Spline. So I'm gonna right click, go to Fredo Spline and I'm going to convert that edge sequence to a polyline segmenter. And in this case, I wanna bump this up to like 360 or something like that. So a bunch of segments, right? But they're all equally spaced segments. Well, if I do the same thing with this one, so convert edge sequence to polyline segmenter, bump up that detail right here. Well, now if I run curve aloft between the two edges, notice how I get a lot more geometric detail in here like this. So if I hit the enter key in here, I've got a lot more detail that I can use for kind of adjusting the surface in here. So say that for example, again, I wanted to use vertex tools. Well, what I could do is I could come in here and I could pick a portion of this and set that soft fall off to like 250 feet or something like that. But notice how it's very detailed in here and what it does is it allows me to do a lot better editing of that object. And sometimes you do get these errors in here. You just need to save and restart SketchUp and it'll work fine. And so one of the things about something like this is if you add that additional detail in here, and I had to scale these down so that they're a lot smaller, um, just because you don't want 450 foot long pieces of cloth. These are now like three feet. But if you look at this, the one with more geometric detail when you run something like Clothworks is gonna give you a more cloth-like result, right? You can see how this is acting more like cloth than this is right here. So by adding that additional detail using something like Fredo Spline, you can use this in order to more accurate, accurately simulate cloth. So that additional geometric detail is actually really important when you're doing things like lofting. All right, so kind of a niche usage, but just one of the like billion things that Fredo Spline can do. I definitely recommend you check that tool out if you create any kind of curves in SketchUp. So leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything special you do with um, tools like Fredo Spline. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.